Yeah, hello. I'm Daphne from Traps to Translator. Hi, I'm Alyssa. And uh, we are here to uh, show you our product, the Travis, here. Chinese. I'm pleased to meet you. And then it will translate in the other language. So now I've put it from Chinese to English. But if you tap two times, either on the left or on the right, it's a bit hard to do it the other way around, yeah. You can select 80 other languages. Um, and um, same on the other side. Um, so I do Dutch English. or So if I say something in Dutch. Ik vind het heel leuk om je te ontmoeten. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's an example. And then uh, Travis makes it possible to um, for you to communicate with people that you would normally not be able to communicate to. And um, we chose the device because it's really easy to just pass it on to other people and uh, have a conversation, really. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> it requires connectivity to the internet somehow, or, or are there languages local to the device? Yeah, so at the moment we have a uh, few languages offline, but to be honest, these are not uh, really, yeah, the quality is not that good yet. We are working on that. So at the moment it is best if you are connected to uh, a Wi-Fi or either you can put in a SIM card and then you can also access the online languages, but you have to be online, yeah. Roughly how much does it cost then? Uh, $199 on Indiegogo. Oh, it's on Indiegogo Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when Indiegogo ends, people can um, s now subscribe to our newsletter and then in the future when we have more information about it, we will update. And what's the website? The website is www.travistranslator.com. Okay, terrific. Are, is it available as an embedded technology? Like if somebody wanted to use your capabilities in their systems? Or is that something you're looking at? Yep. Uh, so what Travis does is it combines uh, existing engines. So it does use uh, existing Google, Microsoft, IBM, along with about eight other engines. Uh, and it brings those together. And the software actually chooses which engine is best for the specific translation that you have. So if I ask you, what did you eat for breakfast today? It might choose one engine over another. And the way in which Travis does that is actually our secret. Uh, and no, it can't be passed along. We can incorporate our Travis software in other means and that's really an aim of Travis is to combine software and hardware to uh, better connect people and to bridge language barriers. So if I had a company that made video conferencing and I wanted to include your technology, you'd be interested in my conversation? Uh, essentially, yes. Uh, we are exploring options at the moment uh, and our immediate focus is on... Uh, Verticals like police, aid work, military and security, also tourism. Tell me about the foundation. Uh, okay, so Travis, uh, as Daphne mentioned, uh, Travis is our device that speaks 80 languages, but there's 7,000 languages in the world. So 80 is really just a very small amount of those. Uh, with languages like English and Chinese, they work great. And then uh, languages like Arabic and maybe Indonesian, they start to drop off a bit. And then there's all of the languages in the world that aren't even included. So, you know, if you're a refugee and you want to communicate when you go to another language and your language isn't digitized, or even if you want to speak to Alexa or Google Home or any of these new voice activated technologies, which we actually see booming at the moment, you can't. You have no option uh, at all. So Travis Foundation is going to digitize new languages and help empower people in the modern world and bring them into modern technology as well.